Hello everybody and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 video. As I mentioned in the previous video, in this video we are going to check out setting up our trace channels because right now if we fire at our opponent we are not actually hitting the character but we are hitting the capsule component around him. So as you can see the traces are a bit off, they are not actually hitting him. And also, if we shoot at him, it's a blocking trace, so we won't hit anything behind him anymore. Our trace is turned green, indicates it's a blocking uh, hit, so nothing after our first hit is being detected anymore. And we're going to fix that as well. So, let's get into this. Uh, first, if I open my character base and go to my viewport, you can see the capsule component over here. This is what I'm talking about. We are hitting this with our bullet traces instead of the mesh, and we want to change that. So we are going to go to our project settings, and if we go to the collision section over here, we can create a new trace channel. So we are going to create one and call this bullet trace, for example. For the default response, you can leave it to block, that's fine, that should do for now. And if we expand the presets below here, we want to change a few things. First, look for the pawn over here. If you look at the description, it says pawn object can be used for a capsule of any playable character or AI. So this is the capsule component I was talking about. We want to edit this one. Look for the new bullet trace we just created and set this to ignore over here. And simply click accept. And we want to change the response for our character mesh as well. So obviously that's the mesh for our character. So we are going to click edit. And for the new bullet trace we want to set this one to overlap. And again accept this. Now if we go back to our base character and go to the bullet trace function we already created a few videos ago. If we look at the multi uh, multi-line trace by channel we can change the trace channel over here to our new bullet trace so change this one leave the other one over here set to camera so that should work like this so let's check it out if we compile this and go in game again I'm going to grab a weapon And right now, if I fire at my opponent, you can see the traces are still red after him. So that means the trace is overlapping and we can still hit anything after it as well. And we are spawning our uh, impact decals, so we are actually hitting the mesh of the character. And we are spawning them because we, are set, that we set those materials to the physical material flesh. And if we shoot through him and hit the cube behind him, we are also going to spawn our decals on there as well. So the bullet penetration is working. Now there's one thing we do need to fix. Uh, if I fire at the ground, for example, you can see I'm outputting the damage to the top left of the screen. So if I shoot at the ground, there's one output. I hit one thing. And if I shoot at my opponent right now you can see sometimes uh, there's uh, three or four hits or even five hits sometimes there's two hits so I can hit him multiple times with the same trace and we want to avoid that because we might apply the same damage five times and I don't think we need to do that so let's close this down and go to our base character if we go to the fire bullet uh, function over here we are going to add a new local variable and it's called hit actors. Set the variable type to actor object reference. So actor and select the object reference over here. And make sure it's an array of entities. So select array. Now we are going to go to the two branches over here at the end and first look at the bottom one. If we disconnect the for each loop over here and create a bit of room. We are going to drag off the array element and do break hit result. From the hit result you want to get the hit actor. Drag off here and type add unique. 
array add unique and we want to add a unique one to our hit actors array so plug in the hit actors array connect this up to the loop body and make sure you create a branch after here connect it up to the output pin so what this does if the actor we hit does not already exist in this array it's going to add one if the actor is already there it's not going to add it again if the actor is already there this is going to return minus one and if it adds a new entity to the array this will return the index of the new entity so if we drag off here and do is not equal to minus one so if the new actor is added to the array we are going to continue from the true pin and call our bullet hit event so right now we can only hit him once with the same bullet we are going to do the same thing over here in the shotgun branch so copy over these four nodes here and create a bit of room after the for each loop disconnect the loop body over here and paste in the new nodes connect up the loop body to the add unique pin connect the true pin to the bullet hit event and we want to break our array element and plug in the hit actor to the add unique node over here let's drag this all up a little bit like this and right now we also need to add one small thing over here after our set pallet count so we create a bit of room here as well disconnect the pin and we want to clear our array so drag off here and type clear array this node and simply plug in the array of hit actors and connect this back up to the bullet trace so if we fire multiple pellets uh, before we restart the loop we are going to clear the array so we can hit the character again with this new pellet or bullet however you want to call it so right now this should do it if we compile and check it out in game I should only be able to hit him once so let's grab the weapon and as you can see there's two damage outputs in the top left of my screen one for the character I'm hitting and one for the floor or the wall after that and no matter if I shoot him through both legs and I'm hitting multiple times with the same bullet still only two outputs so we fixed that as well okay I think that's everything for this video to be honest it's a small one but I thought it was worth making a separate video for this so that's why I decided uh, thanks for watching guys uh, talk to you later